Hello again, so I'm back with the second video. We're actually gonna talk about how you prevent teachers from burning out. And so this is a very important topic. I wanna say this, I've done a couple of posts on social media that probably if nothing changes and if you don't do something differently, this program is different. I'm running a teacher development, teacher training prep program. It is the best, most effective program in the country. I'll explain that in a bit. But basically, based on the statistics, 200,000 more teachers are going to quit this year. And if you don't believe me, well, the National Education Association, the NEA, just put out an announcement that said that 50% of teachers right now are considering, that's in quotes, considering quitting. That means probably, statistically, 200,000 more teachers are going to quit. So probably a few of your teachers are already thinking about that right now and we haven't even started the school year. So just be aware that you might think that everything's okay, but really behind the scenes, your teachers are struggling mightily. So that's the reason why I'm doing these series of videos is because I want people to actually understand what's going on. I am a solutions-oriented educator. That's it. That's what I've done. I am the only educator in America. And I know that sounds just so markety, like, oh my God, there's no, it's not true. You can't be the only one. I, I am. I'm the only one that successfully hacked the K-12 system. My book is in the back right there, Disrupting Education. You can get a copy of it on Amazon if you want. It's available in Kindle, available in paperback. I'm working on the audiobook because a lot of people have said, hey, I don't want to read. I just want to listen to you. So I'm working on that right now. That outlines how you transform your school from what it is right now to a 21st century learning environment. There's a few little hacks that you need to do, but you won't know what to do unless you read the book. We're not getting into that. We're doing the teacher development program because I want to save teachers from burning out. I want to save teachers from quitting this year. If we can actually reduce the number of teachers that quit, hopefully if we could get it down to like five or 10,000 teachers, I mean, that would be a miracle, but it's possible. The way to do that is through this program. So here's why this program is the most effective. It's not just me. I have data. I've been running this program since 2009, so that's over a decade. More than 4,000 educators have already benefited from it. Now, you may not have heard about it before, and that's a simple answer. The reason is because I ran it in person and COVID destroyed all in-person lectures and workshops, so that kind of went out the window. I had to figure out how to bring it online, so I launched Leaf Academy, the first online school dedicated to teaching people how to be successful. And I'm working with that. I mean, that makes perfect sense. I'm teaching teachers how to become expert teachers, how to be successful being a teacher. So it fits with the whole model. Now, we're also working with schools to try to get them to transform into 21st century learning environments. But what teachers need to know are four critical areas. This is what the research says, because I've done basically a decade's worth of academic research, reading all the articles, psychological studies, understanding student development and growth, and like how a teacher actually puts all the puzzle pieces together. So the four areas are lesson planning, teacher techniques, student assessment, and then classroom environment. If a teacher is an expert in all four of those areas, one magical thing happens in class. Kids sit in their seat and do work. Kids are more engaged. Kids have more attention. Kids are more doing more work. You have less behavioral problems. You have less challenges. You have less disrespect. That The classroom becomes a positive and conducive learning environment. The teacher themselves has less stress and they're not overwhelmed. The reason the teachers quit is because they literally feel so overwhelmed that they can't handle anymore, which means that the smart decision is to quit. And that's what no one seems to kind of put the two pieces together. The teacher's actually doing the right thing by quitting because if they're that overwhelmed, you're not helping them. And I know that you're, that's not the intent. No principal, no superintendent intends to torture their staff. But when you provide subpar professional development or inadequate professional development, 
Teachers need more support, and we know that. For 20 years, teacher surveys have said teachers ask for more support. Again, I put it on quotes because that's the exact terminology. Teachers have been saying we need more support. This is what they mean. They need more comprehensive training. So this program, compared to any professional development you've ever done, is by far way more. So the most you can do is you could bring in, what, half a dozen presenters and workshops to get let teachers do? That's, what, 10 hours of work? We're going to do 10 months of professional development. So 10 months of lectures. That's 10 hours right there. We're going to do 10 months of coaching. God knows how many hours that'll be. And then 10 hours of answers and feedback from me, expert answers. So if a teacher asks the question, the student didn't bring a pencil to to class, what should I do? I'm going to give them an expert answer, which is very simple. Give them a pencil because there's no other reason not to. Now, I know that teachers want to argue, well, but I, but I don't want to, I don't want to encourage the students not to bring pencils. There's an easy fix to that. You literally could just have a box of pencils, put their name on the pencils, hand them out at the beginning of the day, and then collect them at the end of the day. Solve the problem. See, we make things too complicated for no reason. And that's the problem. Teachers need to just know how to run their classroom. Yes, there are a lot of things that happen in class, but most of the stuff that happens in class could be avoided. If a teacher is frustrated, like the kids never come prepared to class, well, then just eliminate the preparedness problem. I don't know what it is that you're trying to teach them, but that's where if you send the teachers to this program, I can ask them directly, what are you trying to accomplish? And then once I hear, oh, is that what you want to do? Well, this is the way to do that. You don't teach what you're trying to teach through pencils. And that's the issue. We're trying to teach things you can't teach through situations that don't make any sense. You need a pencil to do work. Now, I know I've heard the argument, well, but if I give them a pencil, they don't learn responsibility. I'm going to just make this an example. I lose pencils all the time. Losing my pencil doesn't mean I'm irresponsible. I have literally lost a pencil. I've had it with, an, you know, I have a, a, a clipboard right here so this this will be a perfect example so i've gone with my clipboard and my pencil to do walkthroughs i mean i got a pen classroom number one i got a pen classroom number two by the time i got to classroom number three i don't know where the pen went i was probably talking to a student i probably put the pen down on their desk and i probably walked away and now the pen is in the classroom now i'm not going back i don't want to disturb the class i don't have a pen So now I gotta go get a pen because I don't have it. Does that make me irresponsible? I mean, it's a bit of a stretch. No, I'm doing my job. I lost my pen along the way. So blaming students for not having a pencil just doesn't make any sense. So if you want teachers to get this level of expert expertise, and you want to delegate your professional development, send them over to leafacademy.org. I will gladly teach them. I will gladly show them. But like I said, this isn't a swoop in, swoop out PD program. This is 10 months. We're going to be with them the whole year. We're also going to do, like if you want uh, leadership coaching as well, in addition to this, please just reach out to me um, because we can do that so you know everything that's going on. But this is 100% legally compliant. You have to provide training, more training than you do to your teachers. This program provides all the legal training that they need. Thank you for joining, and I hope to see you in the next video.